The free movement of goods, services and people across the continent is quite complex and requires innovative solutions, specifically in the context of the free trade area. Our business reporter, Ndokozo Kumalo, is covering the African Continental Free Trade Area Business Forum and she joins us now for the very latest in terms of day two. Uh, what kind of solutions are needed to make Africa's transport and logistics supply chain more efficient, Ndokozo? Good afternoon, Duduzile. Now, of course, transport and logistics is a really important sector if we are going to say that we are going to implement, um, uh, you know, Africa's free trade area and make the movement of goods, services and people a lot more seamless. And for more insights on the kind of solutions that came out of the Business Forum over the last couple of days, I am now joined by African Desk CEO, Patient Sibaya. Thank you, Saiba. Thank you so much for talking. Talking to us now, we've heard some sessions. Obviously, the transport and logistics sector is an important, um, you know, priority area for the free trade area. Talk us through some of the obstacles, but also the opportunities that have been unpacked over the last couple of days. Thank you, Madam. First of all, you know that uh, African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement expects that within few, few years will increase the intra-trade, intra-Africa trade. And uh, talking about increasing the intra-Africa uh, intra trade, it means there will be need of transport. We can't move goods from north, north to south, from east to west, without having efficient communication and transport infrastructure and transport and logistic system. We need a strong transport and logistic system so that we can really have that um, we can really have that sort of smooth move of good across Africa. That's why uh, one of the pillar of uh, African continental free trade area is transport, transport and logistics system. And what came out from uh, the session is that African private sector and public they have really to be involved and committed to ownership the transport and logistic infrastructure projects and we need to invest a lot in this sector because it's the key actually of the implementation of FCFTA, FCFTA. that's why uh, uh, in the transport and logistic uh, uh, panel we thought that it's very important that uh, everybody commits to really invest in transport and logistic infrastructures so that Africa can get reliable and efficient transport and logistics system as we can see it in Europe, in USA, in China because with that transport and logistics there, no, uh, there is no trade. Mm. And as a consulting firm in the space, what are the easy wins or easy solutions that you think could be implemented quickly? Is it focusing on regional, making it easier for goods and services and people to move regionally and then expand from there? Or is it something that really must be pulled from north to south, as you just said? Of course, we have to go step by step. Uh, we have uh, almost six uh, regional economic communities. And once those six uh, regional com uh, economic committees are well linked, then that will automatically bring to the to the to the um, to the integration of all Africa. Because we, if you have to go from Cairo to Cape Town, you have to cross many countries. If those countries are linked, then all Africa will be linked. We have uh, many projects. There are many projects to link, for example, Mombasa to Lagos, to link. Uh, Cairo to Cape Town, to link Tripoli to Vinduk. But all those countries that have to be crossed by those, uh, those highways should be involved in those projects. And the private and the public sector must join their efforts to build really this strong Africa in, a, in, a, in, a, in the sector of economy. There is no prosperity without economy. That's why, as uh, uh, African Desk, we are really advising both governments and, uh, and private sector to really ownership, ownership all the projects in terms of transport and logistics. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the opportunities, since we are expect to increase the, the, the intra-Africa trade, it means there will be need of transport. So we are asking, we are calling upon all the private, uh, 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 private uh, um, 
people in uh, across Africa to start preparing themselves to invest in the sector because the need is there. That is a niche. So they need to prepare themselves to invest in transport uh, sector. But also, when we are advising governments and uh, uh, private sector, especially for governments or public sector, we really make advocacy that we have to remove all uh, um, tariff barriers. You know, if you have to go from, uh, for example, from uh, Daban up to Democratic Republic of the Congo in Kolwezi, Kolwezi, which is the capital of, uh, of cobalt and, and copper today, you need to go smoothly. You shouldn't have uh, barriers in the, in, the, in the road. That should be a smooth road. That should be a, a, a borderless, actually, region. That's what we expect uh, as African Desk, and we give our full support to African uh, Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat, and we do appreciate the achievement of uh, His Excellency Wam Kelemene, what he's achieving as a Secretary General of uh, African Continental Free Trade Area. On our behalf, on uh, our side as African Desk, we are doing our best so that to be part of this uh, good, uh, good game, that is a changing game, actually. Thank you so much, Mr. Saiba, for those insights. Of course, that was Patience Saiba, who is the CEO at African Desk that is based out in Tanzania that does consulting work within the transport and logistics sector, just talking us through some of the milestones that have been met in really opening up um, that free movement of goods, services, and um, people across the continent. But saying, of course, there is still a lot of work to to do and the importance of both the private and public sector um, working together to meet those targets and actually see the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Um, that's why I'll leave it for you now, Dudu. We still have some sessions that are taking place and I will be updating um, during the afternoon. Dogozo, thank you very much for that update. Let's